Hello friends, welcome back to another high level match of Starcraft 2. What I got for you today, it's a Protoss vs Zerg, it's game number 2 between another van, Tibor. Tibor spawning here in the bottom corner with the blue Protoss vs another van, Elazer. Elazer, one of the veteran players of Starcraft 2, playing here with the red Zerg. What is going to happen in game number 2? My name is Keanu and I'm going to find out together. First of all, if you haven't seen game number one, please go and watch. It was an all-in bet. And Tibul, I don't know if it's okay to say or not, but I'm not going to say any more spoilers. Just watch it. You are going to find it uh, very awesome, his strategy. Uh, now, let's see in game number two, if it's going to be something else or the same. So far, so good here for the Protoss player. He started with a gate or a pylon, like standard opening. And a laser, very very greedy as usual, you have to be as a Zerg player with another hatchery. The map is now humanity, it's a wonderful map, it has this low point here in the middle of the map and also a lot of opportunities for shenanigans because you have uh, this uh, exit uh, door that uh, can be broken with a couple of drones. If you take this uh, patch of gold minerals then uh, who knows, you can do a sneaky attack. It's not a that a big map, it's uh, very good for uh, decisive attacks to do a lot of pressure. Now here the cybernetic core and the gateway and already here we have the overlord. Also over here in this map we have a rich Vespian geyser but it's in the proximity of the area that connects uh, the two half of the maps. Here we also have destructible rocks and destructible uh, rocks uh, can block your opponent for a while but also can create new avenues uh, for a run by. So far so good, both players are pretty equal, 22 versus 21 in terms of workers. Let's see if our Polish player, Elazer, representing Team Liquid, is uh, up to the challenge. Uh, he's played since 2014 up until present, so that's like 9 years, if my math is correct. And it is. And uh, Tibur, I found out uh, that he's uh, British-Pakistani and uh, he played from 2015 up until 2017 and restarted uh, during the pandemic in 2020. Already here Elazer, he has uh, the second nexus and already with the Stalker, yeah, playing uh, mouse and cat. Uh, nice try, but here is more than enough space for the Overlord to stay and just uh, be vigilant. Another uh, hatchery for Elazer, so both players are gearing up for an intensive match. Uh, pretty soon we are going to have a lot of uh, units attacking. Look at the position of the Zerg, just trying to see, to feel uh, the opponent. Let's see what we are seeing. So this is uh, Elazer point of view. Uh, this is Tibur. So Tibur is a little bit in the dark. Highly unusual. Usually if you play with uh, Protoss you like to have a little bit more map awareness to use the Adept more aggressively. But luckily for us we see everything. Now the Adept is just staying for home defense. Is Tibur a little bit afraid for a little bit of scouting? I don't know. Let's find out. The Cryptomore is spreading very well. Very well for a laser. And here already a Sporecrawler. Uh, usually, if you play against uh, Protoss, you find yourself in the situation where he's going to try to use uh, uh, an air uh, unit to attack uh, the probes. And is this going to be the case? Is this Stoker still trying to kill the Overlord? Uh, mission impossible, but really impossible. Now, free, play, free base uh, Protoss versus free base Zerg. Oh, I like uh, Tibul aggression, this is why he's not scouting, he's just laying on defense. But now he lays uh, it's like he's smelling something and sending here the cheeky Zerlings to be more aggressive. Now two oracles are going to attack, already spotted. So this is uh, why we have the defense in place. Olivia the queen is here, so not much uh, you can do right now. The timing of uh, the oracles, probably you should have sent the fast one. Now just using more them for defense against Zerlings, so there are so many Zerlings. In terms of workers, uh, Tibur 47 versus 46, so keeping uh, up with Elazer. And these Zerlings are just here to scare the opponent away. 
terms of work it is of 28 versus 12 but these numbers are deceiving because it's all about uh, quality when you play against uh, Zerg you have uh, the uh, you do not have the numbers advantage but the quality and now adepts versus Zerlings is this run by no nah, not successful also you have a shield battery over here but uh, it's good to keep on track with uh, what your opponent is doing these Zerlings if they are uh, morphed into a bailing oh this mineral line is so juicy in the main base what do we have here a lot of uh, workers for the main base this one has a little bit extra because probably yeah the extractor is going to be used this one also very good very good and the fourth one the fourth hatchery and in the meantime yeah tough luck for the adept and the oracles how many kills two on this one zero on this one mm, nothing to brag about and again trying to see the first uh, yeah ah, one probe inside the probe nah. the shield battery yeah very good Ooh, something happened here that was not supposed to happen and the laser is punishing t -ball. yeah a lot of drones went down Eraser has a probe advantage right now in terms of income. Heavily favoring Eraser. And the Zerlings are still here, still alive, still <laughs> doing a lot of damage. A run by. Yeah. Ooh, that was the deal. Dark Templars. Nice. Transfuse, but already here we have the Overseer. So Deepul always trying to be cheeky. Yeah, let's see again. So this is what uh, he tried to do. So last time he tried all in zealots, now he's trying uh, to snipe with Dark Templars. In terms of income, oh, now favoring Tibul. Yeah, killing the extractor as well. Oh, excellent. But now we have the Overseers, uh, they see everything. So if an Overseer over here, I don't know. I don't know if this is enough. Is the laser going to answer with a run by of its own? Now the creep spread is awesome. So this is a good uh, avenue. And I will send Olivia marching with her sisters. Now a lot of roaches, a lot of uh, units, hydraulics, zerlings. Army are pretty equal. But now who is on the move? t is on the move. So using the Dark Temple to snipe a hatchery and now morphing them into this powerful Archons. And this is a very good engagement with two Archons to soak some of the damage and blink stalkers. But this is a good concave. Uh, not that good. Both players are literally smashing punches like in a boxing match. Look at them fighting. Very cool game. Now Archons are dead, Stalkers are low health, they are blinking away, more Stalkers are coming here for reinforcements. Pretty equals in terms of army. Uh, the real MVP in my opinion are the Hydralisk, because they can shoot for a distance. And they are very fast uh, as well on creep. Now even putting these small changelings just to keep on track on the, of the units and block them a little bit the pathway. Now the income stabilized, so Tibur has a big uh, had a big income advantage. Now the run by of Zerlings, oh this is going to be devastating for the mineral lines. Yes, all the pros are going to die. So bye bye advantage. Very good run by with the Zerlings. Now, realizing this, t is uh, all in. He's trying to see if he is able to finish the game right here, right now. Good conky for the laser with the Hydralisk. And also using the drones, pulling the drones. Now it's smelling blood in the water, but what do you do? You have the Zerlings in the main base. Oh my god. Oh my god, t my friend, what are you doing? Ah. 
literally if if the game is going to be lost it's going to be lost because of all these uh, zerlings over here killing the mineral lines 33 workers for Tibur and he realized zero chances eraser winning congratulations eraser maybe next time Tibur uh, thank you for watching remember to subscribe Kian over